Chrome and Firefox are secure, but there's actually a, a major weakness with inside uh, both of them, and it relates to the storage of the encryption keys. So what should happen is that uh, each secure session that we make through HTTPS, HTTPS creates a new session key. That session key is typically uh, encrypted with the public key of the server that we're connecting to. So when they decrypt it on the other side, then we'll have the same session key. But unfortunately, uh, Firefox and Chrome uh, store the, the encryption key. So just to show that we, we don't actually have the keys stored. So we'll just have a look here. So we'll just get rid of this file here. Okay, so it doesn't exist. So the first thing that we're going to do is to enable the environment variable which Firefox and Chrome use. Okay, and we'll just do that there. Okay, so this is it here. So what we'll do is just change that one to ssl.txt and that sets us up there. So that file doesn't exist. So what we'll do is we'll just open up Firefox. And it should open to Google. And there we go. So already it's stored all the the keys there. So then we'll just close that one down. And we'll just erase the file that we've just created. And then we'll open up Chrome. Google again. And there they are. Okay, so there's all the keys. And the same will go if we use something like LinkedIn is is also in, encrypted. So we'll see all the keys for that. Okay, so what's happening there is that uh, we're we're creating we're creating a, a new session key each time and then that's been stored in this file. So what we can now do, what an intruder would do, is to be able to open up Wireshark. And if Wireshark can see this file then it can actually uh, take the session key that's required for each of the streams and then be able to decode that. Okay, so we'll just set that up. Okay, so we find the protocols and then for SSL. Okay, and then we just point to the file. Okay, so to make it easy, I just change that. Then I'll apply. That's it. Okay, so we'll get uh, that started. And then we just talk to the Google. Google.
Okay, so that's HTTPS by, by default. Okay, so if we go back here, I'm going to stop that. Okay, so we see we have uh, we have various uh, records there. Uh, through the, the the tunnel, so we'll just have a look at this one here. So you see, uh, there should be an addition that says "follow SSL stream," and there we go. So that's the decrypted SSL payload. So it m the data itself might be uh, decrypted, so it can sometimes be difficult to see the actual core data, but uh, it should be possible to decrypt each of the each of the streams because uh, Warshark is actually picking up the, the key from the stored file. Okay, so that that gives uh, an, an overview of, of uh, insecurity with inside Firefox and, and Chrome. Uh, so you find that there's a decrypted part here that you can actually have a look at within there and then there's also the follow stream okay